What is going on guys? Name is here bringing you guys a brand new video and today we're going to talk a little bit about that Seattle surge announcement. They got a new squad. A lot of people were wondering what Seattle was going to do. There were rumors and these guys have been back and forth with what was happening on Twitter. They were tweeting out sad tweets, happy tweets left and right. Nobody exactly knew what was happening, but the surge have done it. They've built a team and it's a pretty fire roster, might I add. Now their announcement today, uh, they let out a little bit of a teaser where some of the words were, you know, discombobulated, but it was the players' names in it. You saw one uh, that said Pristini, one was Gunless, one was Octane, and I just thought it was a pretty interesting way to tease their roster. And then shortly after, they dropped a fire video announcing the four players on the squad. And let's go a little bit deeper into it. So the roster is Looney, Octane, Pristini, and Gunless. You have some historical great players on Call of Duty from on this team. You have some smart players. You have MVPs left and right. You just have some fantastic talent across the board. You have a world championship winner. Um, you have captain captains from other teams that have been fantastic and, and almost have become dynasties. Not quite there, but you know they were on the right path. And now you have a, a weird roster full of players who are hungry to win and let's talk about why. So let's start off with Gunless, right? Like Gunless, the last few years, there's been a point in every title where he's been considered the best player in the game. You know, outside of last year where he was stripped of the opportunity to play, um, he's been considered an MVP caliber player in the last few titles. He's always been on a top team and he's always an absolute threat on the map and one of the best, if not the best, on literally every single team that he's been on. And Gunless is going to be particularly extra hungry this year, which is scary because he had to sit out for the remainder of the year after he was put on the bench by the Huntsman. He was sitting out eagerly waiting to play on this squad and to have Gunless back and to just take a look at some of his achievements. I mean, this guy's won so many events and not only has he won so many events, he's won them with players like Looney, like Pristini that he has by his side. So he's been in the trenches with these guys and he's won. So, you know, Gunless right there, that's an absolute win getting him on your team, especially alongside players he's played with before that know how to deal with sort of his, you know, killer mentality that he just always wants to win. And, you know, sort of that Mamba mentality where he's gonna rage at you, he's gonna be mean to you, but you're gonna get better and you're going to improve. So those players having dealt with that, they're going to be prepared to play with Gunless, which I think puts him in a uniquely great position. Now, moving on, let's talk a little bit about Looney. I mean, he was the captain of this Ultra team to, to start the year on Ultra. I mean, he had to be a little disappointed in the teammates that he had next to him because he typically is playing with great players. He's an in-game leader, a very smart player, a nuisance on the map with that SMG. He's hyper aggressive and he knows what it takes to win in practice and in game and in the 10 situations. This guy's won events. He's molded some of the talent that we've had and he's one of the most underrated leaders that we have in the Call of Duty scene. Looney was almost left out to dry here during this offseason. If you think back to last year when he got released, Ultra found a little bit of success without him. And then now, and then there was a lot of times where people were counting Looney out. So I'm very happy that he found a roster because he is more than equipped to compete at a high level, especially now that he has some teammates on his side that he believes in and that believe in him. I think he's in a great position as well. I think Looney being left out of the scene was a, a big miss by a lot of the pro teams. I think they could have gained a lot by having Looney on their roster. And I thought Toronto honestly made a bad decision not having Looney in the starting roster. And I believe they would have found a lot more success if they built around him but neither here nor there they did still win an event and they do still have a solid roster to their name so I guess in the end who am I to judge is just my opinion I have a lot of faith in Looney and I think you guys will see why this year Moving on, you got Octane. Obviously, his team was completely lackluster last year. Surge was the big, one of the biggest letdowns of the entire year. But the one good thing about the Surge, the one upside to it was Octane. Now, on one hand, you have a guy who's been creating content. He's been fantastic all year. The other hand, you have one of the best ARs in the game. He was on 100 Thieves. He was winning events, MVP caliber player. And this year, he was absolutely dominating. I mean, if he had some solid players on his squad... He could have been winning events this year. Octane is a fantastic AR. He has one of the best shots in the game, and he puts in a lot of time. So to have him on this roster with Looney as the aggressor, with Gunless as the flex, and with Pristini as another aggressor, which we will talk about in a bit, is a very, very dangerous respawn team. Having Octane as that main AR, he can go toe-to-toe -to -toe with anybody he pretty much outclasses 99.9% .9 of all the other main ARs in the entire game. So 
in that role you are locked and loaded and also in that role he is way more impactful in 4v4 so he will be able to take over games and fluster the other team's smgs in 4v4 we've seen it in other games and we'll see it again so absolute win by the surge to keep octane on this team now let's talk a little bit about pristini obviously wins an event he has some struggles uh, i think he's the one dark horse of this roster pristini seems to struggle sometimes with consistency but with Looney, Octane, and Gunless, all Prasini needs to do on this team is be a role player. Just be aggressive, play his role, play intelligent, and don't over challenge. It's going to be something that Prasini has to learn, but I think he's set up in a position to learn on this team. In 4v4, he's going to be able to push in front of his teammates and just allow them to slay and get all the kills. He's going to have to take up that role and be okay with not having the crazy KD because we know how he can be on social media. When he has a bad map or a bad tournament, he's all over himself. He's just feeling bad and he's tweeting about it. He's saying that all these emotional types of tweets and that's just something that he has to conquer right like everybody's built differently but for Persini, it's been an issue for him and his confidence and it's something that he has to get over and i think that looney will be able to help him do that alongside one of his good friends in gunless but for Pristini, he won't be able to hide on a 5v5 team. All his flaws will be exposed in 4v4. So it's something that he has to overcome. And that's my one big worry with this team. But Pristini is a world champion. Mind you, don't forget that. He can figure it out. And in a slower pace 4v4 game, he should be able to. Now, I think that this is an absolute win for Surge fans. Their team last year was absolutely terrible. And I think that this year, they'll be a lot better. Um, I'm excited to see these guys come back. And what they all share is that hunger to win. Octane being on a terrible team, Pristini being, you know, bumped off the Huntsman and having a, a rough year for individual performances, Gunless sitting out most of the year and Looney sitting out most of the year. This is a team set up for success this year. This is a bounce back year, absolutely. They're all hungry, they're all angry, and they all share a common experience. So they're going to rally together and they're gonna feel great about this, right? Like this is a team that they're gonna see these other rosters and these guys that have been competing last year thinking, we can beat these guys. We were beating these guys for years and we can do it again. And now we're on the same team sitting next to each other. We're absolutely ready to go and we're locked and loaded. So I like this roster for that reason, that hunger and that focus and drive to be the best and to not ever experience what they just experienced last year. That is going to rally them together. And that can honestly be the deciding factor from this being a top three team versus a top six team. I have a lot of faith in them and I think they'll be fantastic. But either way, that's my take on the seattle surge if you guys enjoyed this video make sure you leave a like there's more videos to come we sort of just rip right through it but that's the way i like to do it a lot of info packed in a short amount of time more videos to come i'll see you guys soon